Hi there, Jean Greer here at Stylish Fireplaces. Today I want to introduce you to the Dimplex Optimist series of electric fireplaces. Optimist is a system where the flames are created by tap water that's being turned into a mist. So it's not steam. If it was steam, I would burn my hand if I put it in the flame. So it is a cool mist that's being created with tap water. And that tap water is being ultrasonically turned into a mist and then light is hitting it to make it look like flames. It will react to the air around it, so it is very much like an open flame. And for that reason, you do need to watch where you install an Optimist in an open design like this. It will react to really powerful HVAC systems or doors opening and closing, so you do have to think about where you're putting it. We have it in a little alcove here in our showroom, so it's protected from the comings and goings of people moving through our showroom. So do think about that because it is that open flame effect and, and strong HVAC could affect this like in a commercial setting. The other thing to keep in mind, just another little installation tip, although this is open on top, it does need to draw air in from below. And so what you don't see on my installation here is I have air vents on either end of this construction on the lower part so that air can be pulled into the structure from below. So you do need to pay attention to that in the owner's manual. It is noted there, but sometimes people miss it if they haven't worked with this system before. So the Optimus system is based on these cassettes. And so this open fire that I have here is a 40 inch cassette. So these are called CDFI 1000 for the 40 inch version or 1000 millimeters and CDFI 500 for the 20 inch version or 500 millimeters. So a half meter and a full meter. They can be ganged together to create any combination and size of fire with an open fire like this that you could come up with. So if you wanted 80 inches, you would take two of these 40s and make an 80 inch fire. So you can gang them together. It is best if they are plumbed. So if they're connected to a plumbing line as ours are, the water reservoirs will refill automatically. And that's a lot more convenient for you than having to take the top off and get to the water reservoir and refill it manually. It can be refilled manually and if you only have one and, and it's too hard to run a plumbing line and you're willing to do that, by all means, it can be done. But it is much more convenient as you get into those bigger sizes if you can plumb it and connect it to a plumbing line. You can have the flat top as you see here on my open system or there is a log kit, a driftwood kit, and there is also a plug-in log set that can go on top. Do keep in mind if you're using the plug-in log set, the cutout in the surface of your structure actually has to be a slightly different size because that log set takes up a little more space in the opening than the flat top does. And the flat top is what comes with the unit. So it's a cassette-based system, meaning a big kind of metal rectangular box that holds the water reservoir. That box in and of itself just churns out the flames from the water. If you want heat in this structure up above, you can invert a heater that would be connected to the base unit and it's connected behind the wall. The heaters on an Optimist are not as robust or thermostatically controlled as a heater on a regular electric fireplace. So normally a, an electric fireplace heater connected to 120 volts would have enough power to heat up about a 400 square foot area. These heaters are not that robust. It's, a, it's an on off, it will blow heat out. It will give you the effect that those flames are warm, but it isn't gonna heat up as big an area as quickly as a regular electric fireplace heater. Not to say you shouldn't do it, but just keep it in mind. And the heater is actually going to blow in one direction. So if I had a two-sided fireplace here, I would have to decide whether the heat was going to blow this way or the other way and when I install the heater. So something else to keep in mind. The cassettes can also be contained in the GBF system. So GBF, or Great Big Fire as I call it, is what you see here. So the GBF comes in two sizes, 40 inches and 60 inches. So you can't make bigger fires with this system. What the GBF does is it takes a metal framework 
that will hold the cassette or cassettes, depending on which size you're using, 40 or 60. We have the 60 inch here, so there's two cassettes in there, or three 20 inch cassettes, I should say. Uh, so it allows you to attach a piece of glass to the front. So I do have a partial piece of glass here. You will see there are gaps here so that the uh, mist can escape. And when that glass is cold, when we first fire it up in the morning, the glass is cold in here and that mist hits it. And although the mist isn't steam, it's not hot, but it will still hit that cool glass and start to fog up a little bit. So uh, it does take some time to settle down, but once it does, that glass allows you to close things in like a regular linear fireplace. And in fact, the back panel on a GDF system can knock out and you could have a second piece of glass to create a see-through fireplace. So really cool as well. This box system, this framework incorporates the heater into it. So it holds the cassettes, it holds glass, and it has the heater included. So it gives you a little bit of an easier installation if you're really just looking for this linear profile, but you want the mist technology and you don't want the open flame idea that we have with the cassettes on their own. Here in our GVF 60, you can see, or sorry, it's called the GVF 1500 for 1500 millimeters or 60 inches, but you can see the logs, the plug-in logs we've attached to this unit. So you can see what those logs look like. They plug into the base unit and they light up and then of course they disperse the mist to make it look quite random and, and more like a flame. So it's GBF 1000 for a 40 inch and GBF 1500 for a 60 inch. So these are all based on the Optimist cassette system from Dimplex. You can find it at stylishfireplaces.ca. You can search under Dimplex and then look for Optimist Pro.